Okay, we're here to talk about lab safety. So how to be safe in a science classroom and whether or not your course is defined as a lab, you're probably still working with chemicals at some point, whether it's through demonstrations or class activities. So you need to know lab safety. So let's get to it. Here are our objectives. Uh, feel free to pause the video and read them more carefully if you desire. All right, so lab safety begins before you even go into the lab. So you don't bring bags, you don't bring backpacks, you don't bring purses, you don't bring your stack of textbooks and notebooks. You bring literally what you need to do the lab, to the lab, that's it. And be prepared. So read directions, know what you're doing. Don't just start doing it if you don't even know what you're doing. Be prepared, read directions, and ask questions if you have them. All right, so you have to know the location of the safety equipment. So you have to know the location of the eye wash, um, which is going to flush out any chemicals that might get into your eyes. So you're going to need to know the location of the safety shower, which can be used for fire, but also for chemical spills on clothing. Fire extinguishers. Some classrooms may also have a fire blanket. Um, you should also know where the chemical spill kit is and the broken glass container. So what's in a chemical spill kit? Well, it may vary in what is actually present, but it should include uh, some of these common things. So some kind of absorbent material, like a spill pillow. Um, it should have some kind of acid neutralizer. So if an acid is spilled, this can be used to neutralize the acid. It should have some kind of base or alkali neutralizer. Um, goggles or a face shield, a disposable lab apron, gloves, a small broom and dustpan, and plastic bags uh, for disposal. Okay, so that's just a general overview. Uh, the kit in your room might be slightly different, but that's just an outcome. Goggles are an absolute 100% must, no questions asked. So how do you dress for lab? You got to wear safety goggles. Eyeglasses and sunglasses are simply not acceptable substitutes. You have to tie back long hair. So even my hair like this, Tie it back. I don't want anything falling into my face, falling forward. No open toe shoes. Closed toe shoes. That's it, period. I may wear open toe shoes, but not on lab day. No dangly jewelry. And no loose sleeves, hoodie strings, anything hanging down from your clothing that can accidentally knock something over, get into something. So what are some safe lab practices? Well, let's see, no horseplay, so no fooling around. Lab is not the time to be racing, competing, doing arm wrestling, anything like that. Only perform authorized experiments. So never go, huh, I wonder what would happen if I did this. Absolutely not. Only authorized experiments. No food or drink in the lab. You don't actually know if the person before you cleaned up properly. You don't know um, if there were chemicals in a previous class. Don't do it. No food or drink in lab. Do not use chipped or cracked glassware. First, it could shatter more so it could spill. You could also cut yourself on it. So that's why, remember the broken glass container? If you see chipped or cracked glassware, you're going to notify your instructor, and that is going to be put into the um, broken glass container. What else? Keep all chemicals and equipment in lab. So you don't like run out in the hall, hey, check this out. No, 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 no. It stays in the lab, in the lab area. Don't use chemicals from unlabeled containers. So I think this is sodium bicarbonate. No, if it doesn't have a label, we don't use it. Never heat a closed container. Okay, that hopefully is self-explanatory. Keep flammable substances away from heat sources. So if you're working with isopropyl alcohol, uh, please do not have it anywhere near a heat source. And never return unused chemicals to the container. So you scoop out what you need and you're like, oh, I took four grams too much. That no, you don't put it back into the container. Okay, it's going to be disposed of in the proper way, whichever way your instructor um, tells you to dispose of it. Uh, when you're heating test tubes, so first of all, you can see this person is using tongs to hold the test tube. Not too smart to heat it holding uh, with your hand, uh, it's going to get warm. So never point the opening, the mouth of the test tube or flask, whichever you're using, toward yourself or another person because it, those contents can heat up really quickly and splash out and if it does splash out it's going to splash out in the face of someone if it's pointed at them always point the mouth the opening of the test tube or flask away from people when you're smelling chemicals never directly smell a chemical so you don't go no not like that at all okay you're going to use a technique called wafting so you're going to use your hand 
and waft the vapors toward you. You'll still be able to smell them, I promise. No, not good. Especially some uh, chemicals that have some corrosive qualities, it's going to damage the inside of your nose. Don't do that. Wafting only. In the event of a lab accident, it will happen. Somebody will drop something, somebody will spill something. So what do you do? Tell your instructor immediately. Report all spills, all accidents, all injuries to your teacher, to your instructor immediately. Clean up as directed by your teacher. Okay, so solids should be swept up. Acids have to be, and bases have to be diluted before cleaning up. You have to, you should dilute liquid spills with a lot of water before cleaning them up. But again, you're going to follow the directions of your instructor. <clears throat> Wash skin after contact with chemicals. Okay, in severe accidents, <clears throat> that may involve the eye wash. Hopefully not, because you've been wearing your goggles, which I said number one. Um, but it may involve the safety shower. Never handle broken glass with bare hands. Uh, you should use gloves. And if necessary, right, you're going to use the, sa the safety shower, the eye wash, the fire extinguisher, fire blanket, the chemical spill kit, whatever is needed. But again, with your teacher's uh, direction and notify the teacher immediately. Don't try to hide it. Um, it's important for everyone to be safe. And at the end of your lab time, we should turn off all burners if you're using Bunsen burners or another type of burner. All chemicals should be closed. You should clean up your area. Again, you don't assume that a previous person did clean it up, which is why we try and uh, we have the no food and drink in lab rule. Return materials, but remember, you don't return used chemicals or even the extras that you don't need to the container, okay? But return materials, so if you have to put the beakers, the flasks, the test tubes in their correct location. Dispose of waste as directed by your teacher. Some things may uh, be in a specific container, some may be down the sink, some may be in the garbage. Wash your hands, good um, in general anyway. So let's review some ideas. What good safety decisions do you see evidence of in this image? Okay, so what do you see? I see lots of things. I see goggles, I see hair tie Mac, I see a lab coat, I see gloves. Okay, lots of good things. What safety equipment do we have in class? So there are some examples of safety equipment. What do you have in your classroom? All right, here are some things you might say. Fire extinguisher, safety shower, eye wash, fire blanket, first aid kit, chemical spill kit. What's wrong here? Okay, first of all, he's not wearing any goggles. It's hard to tell from that picture which exactly way the test tube is um, pointed, but it says it's tilted forward. Um, so from the angle, that means it's pointed, uh, if it's pointed toward him, that is absolutely the wrong way. Remember, the mouth of a test tube should be pointed away. Also, not wearing any goggles. That's highly dangerous. What do you do when an accident or spill happens? Okay, you can see that um, glassware is cracked. Just notify your teacher, notify the instructor immediately. What are these students doing wrong? Okay, remember no horse playing lab. It's not the place to be fooling around and being silly. All right, in class, uh, we practice with a blue kit. Super fun. So remember, safety first. It's important no matter um, if you think it's um, extensive, it's too much. Uh, why do I have to wear the goggles? Why do I have to use the gloves? It's, it's for your safety. So trust your instructor, follow the rules, safety first. So I hope you learned something new.